Hello. In this video, we will talk about code quality. What is code quality and why it's so important? Let's take a look on our plan. Today, we will talk about what is code quality, characteristic of a good code, why it's important, time and cost, and we will talk about general guidelines, how we can use it. Also, we will cover tools which help us to do our code better. So, first of all, let's take a look on this image. What do we see? Usually it's a very common case when we have two developers and uh, both of them working on the same code, one created code and uh, nobody knows how this code works, even the man who created it. So it's a problem and we need to avoid such problems. So talking about code quality, we can uh, split it into two different parts. It's a functional code quality and structural code quality. So what is functional code quality? Functional code quality is a meeting to functional requirements. We have requirements to create some software and uh, we have some requirements, functional requirements, what this software should to do. This code will be high quality if we will implement these requirements and the software will do what it should to do. We can use unit tests to implement our functionality as it's expected. The structural code quality is how well the software code is written, how, how do you write this code and uh, do you follow our guidelines in the project or not. So the next, what we are going to discuss, we, mostly we will talk about structural code, how do you write it, how you write your code, maintainable and uh, the code you can use. We will talk about structural code quality mostly in the next uh, part of this section. So to understand the deep importance of this code, we can uh, describe the difference in two terms such as written code and working code. So working code, we have some requirements and uh, in case uh, we fulfill these requirements, we can say that code is working and uh, it works with what should it do. The code developed is a written code, so it can be created, but it might not work as expected. How can we say that code is good? We need to take on some requirements, so, or characteristics of a good code. So the most important is it works. We have some requirements, code works, and uh, these requirements are fulfilled. It's a great. But another important part is a pleasant to look at this code. Really, it's very important when you can take a look on the code and you understand how it works. Code looks beautiful without, different, without the useless comments, without useless parts of code and you do not need to spend some time for understanding how it works. It's a part of easy to read. So you can read it as a novel, as a text or some non-fiction literature. You read and you understand uh, what is there and how it works, why it works in this way. And that's why it should be simple and uh, single. Single it means without copy paste, you don't need to copy this code uh, in different place and uh, it should uh, do some one single task, it's single responsibility. So when you create a function, it should do just uh, what this function is created for, nothing else, then it's much more easy to understand this function and test. So in this case, you will create software with approach which calls testable in mind. It means then when you create unit tests for this code, you will create your code easier to read, easier to understand and easier to test because testing is an important stage and when you create the code with this approach, you will try to do it without some useless dependencies or without some global variables, you will try to do it as easy as it's possible. And the result of these steps is easy in maintaining and changing. So we have a code, we have some new requirements or we have a new bug, a new bug we need to solve this bug. And uh, if code was written in a good style and it's a good code, we can easy to change something or update some functionalities. Why is it important? So let's take a look how we work with code. I will tell you a truth about writing a code when you are a software developer. So mostly you do not write code. We can see here that 85% of time we just understand the code. We read what was already written. 
from my experience, I can say that sometimes you can spend a day and just write one or two lines of code and all the time you spend for reading the code, understanding how it was written, why it was written in this way, what requirements this code tried to implement and how it works. And after that, when you understand how it works, then you can change something, you can uh, implement new requirements. That's why writing code, it takes just 2% of our time. Also, we have modifying of existing code. When we have already written code, we will find the bug. We can modify already existing code and add uh, something new. But mostly we read this code. Of course, this, uh, the percentage is depends on the time of life cycle development of your project. If you just started your project, you will write new code mostly, but with the time in a few weeks, months, there, were, there will be a lot of code and you will read code of other developers because mostly you will work in team with other developers. Why is it important? Of course, of course it's about um, full code quality may and I will show you that it will lead to the next problem is functional defects. So as we mentioned before, code works when it implements some functional requirements. If we write code bad, uh, it might not implement these requirements and uh, your software won't work as expected because of some problems. And uh, the next one is a cost and time to make changes. It costs maintainability. How much time do you need to implement some new feature or fix a bug? If your code was written well, according to some code style, you can fix it in a short time and uh, maintain a long period of time. But if your code was created without code qualities, without code convention, without code style, and you don't know how it works, uh, you, can, you, spend, you will spend more time to understand it. Poor code quality may cause additional application performance issues, which we need to remember about it, because uh, useless part of code may do some useless request in network and uh, it will take some time and it will decrease the quality of your application in general. So also modifiability is a requirement for code, which cause how easy it can extend or update your code. So if you have new requirements, you need to implement some new functionality, you need to understand this code and uh, modifiability will show you how much time you need to implement new functionality. Also, poor code quality will increase your technical debt. Technical debt, it's, your, it's what you should do, but right now you have no time or you can't do it. For example, you skipping writing unit test. It may be your technical debt that you will need to implement it in the future, but right now you can't do it. Also, some problems with your code, the same application performance, it can be your technical debt, which you should handle and solve in the future. And there are many other problems can be created by poor code quality. So keeping code quality, it's a commitment of each team member of your team. Each teammate should understand why we have to do the best that we can, why we can, why we have to create high quality code and uh, what's the reason. We need to agree it and then motivate people to write this code according to our agreement, according to our code style, because of we will know that in the future it will decrease the time for supporting and maintaining this code quality. And it should be your regular activity, it should be your habit. Every day when you write code, you will write it with this code style and try to do it as good as possible without uh, wasting time for some additional talking and uh, discussion why it should be done in this way or in another way. So how can we do it? To do the code with a high quality, we can follow the next uh, rules or best practices. And the first one is a code review. Code review is a process when you manually check your code. Is it okay? Is it uh, according to requirements you discussed? And um, if everything is okay, you can merge it or if not, you can discuss it and solve problems. Another technique is the unit testing. Unit test will fulfill your functional requirements. So you know what you should implement, how it should work, and then you create unit test, uh, which tests your functionality and you're expecting. And there are other 
techniques such as functional testing or continuous integration, continuous delivery. Also, we will cover these techniques such as code review process, testing, continuous integration, static code analysis. It's an important part of automating, automated analysis of your code and the speed up of development. And also training and onboarding. You need to share knowledge in your team how it should be done and uh, it will help for each teammates to do to follow code quality requirements. Let's talk about general recommendation. And of course it's follow coding standards. You need to create your standards for your own team, for your own project and each teammate should follow these standards. Also you need to try to follow design principles such as keys, solid or another. Keys is just keep it simple. We need to create a code with a minimum effort. Why do we need it? Because with the same requirements each developer can create a solution in absolutely another way. It will be another code with another uh, things with another minds behind and uh, it can implement as he or she wants. So we need uh, to do it as simple as possible to reduce the amount of time for understanding this code. Of course we need to introduce code review practice on our project to check the code and uh, was it written as we expected or not. And uh, good practice is introducing automated unit tests or integration tests for your code and uh, it will increase your code quality as much as possible. And uh, as we are developer, we do not want to spend a lot of our time in case we can delegate it to computers. So everything what can computer do, it should do. And in this case, we have tools uh, to assist. There are a lot of different tools for different programming languages you can use. For example, SonarCube is a very popular tool which will um, follow your rules, you will create some rules and uh, this tool can check your code according to your rules as you want this code should be done. And the conclusion, what is important? It's important for each developer, it should understand importance of code quality, why do we need to follow code convention and try to write code as good as possible. We need to define guidelines for the project, how we are going to create our code and uh, make sure you follow them. So each developer should have to follow these guidelines and try to write code according to this code style. And uh, act on issue in your code. It doesn't matter created you code star or guideline, it doesn't matter in case you do not uh, follow this code convention and uh, you do not uh, act on issues. So there wasn't created unit test or code was written not as you expect, you have to act and uh, prevent such problems in the future.